What's happening, party people? Knocked out some good work on Sebastian's car yesterday. Got the engine cradle and everything dropped. Got the transmission off. We're going to do the rear main seal, several other things. So, yes, I am still in Chicago. Going to be in Chicago probably several more days. So, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy today's clips. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the tinker day. I need to get a few parts off of this cylinder head these bolts for the intake manifold this thermostat housing and a few valves so let me get to work I got my tool for getting the valves out and get this done hopefully my exhaust manifold will be done by the time I'm done messing around with this cylinder head I tell you something was going on over here I think this head has been off this car before. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon built up on three of those valves. Those look normal. Those look normal. Those two valves look new. If I had to guess, this car experienced a burnt valve at one time, and those two valves were replaced, and those look normal. Now these look pretty nasty, so there was something going on there. Yeah, oil leakage in there or burning running rich or something that wasn't a real good deal so let's go ahead and take these two valves and put them in the head that we're building we also need I think a plug from here uh, let me check the other side make sure but I think I need this plug right here A little carbon build up. He needs a, um, he was told he needs a um, cylinder head, and I think he needs a gasket. It's a 240. Oh, really? You want to do it? I'll get him over here. We'll put it in the shade and just rip the head off, you know, plane it and put it back together. <laughs> no, no, listen to me. It's easy on those cars, right? It's easy, but yeah, I'll fix them to get the car over here. How soon do you need it down? The car is down right now. Oh, how long before he needs it down? Well, we can put it in an empty spot over there. I mean, does he need it done in, in a week or two weeks or what? I know, I've been mad at him before. Um, I'm going to text him, tell him. He put it to the shop, they tell him, oh, we need the cylinder head. Cylinder head needs to be reworked. Bullshit, yeah. I never freaking reworked the cylinder head on 240 ever. No, 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 not on 240. It, it just needs to be made true, that's about it. Well, it's, it's not that, it's just an old gasket. Oh, they blow head gas instead of eight? No, he was told he was told. Uh, Are you filming me? Yep. <laughs> oh, 
the film and me. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a silent movie. I'm going to be talking over this footage. Right. Na narrating, getting tanned. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. I'm trying to get this plug out. This other cylinder head is missing this plug for some reason. All right, then. Gorgeous. Is that the shitty head? Yeah. It had two new valves in it. Look. And these, all these other valves are carbon, carbon buildup on them. Well, something was going on. It burnt, thing. it burnt the valve somewhere along the road, and somebody just put two new valves in it. Well, it's running lean on one side or something. You still use injector? Those are new valves. Yeah. But if you got a dirty injector, it will do it. If it's not lean. See, those are new valves. All of them? No, these two. Okay, so. But this one here is running rich or something. That cylinder, that number five cylinder, that's not right. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Do I need to put some kind of sealant on this? Put the white tape and that's it. Huh? Put that white tape on tape. All right. You got it? Let me go put this thing together. And All right. Get this, get the animal. What do you think this car this hat is garbage? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's still overheated in time. It still has a lot of mess in there. I don't think it's garbage. What do you what do you about this? Can you balance with that? What do you want to do with it? I'll oh. take a couple more valves out of it. And I can take leave a couple it. more valves out of it. Leave it for me. I'm going to try to see if I can straighten this out. Well, it, it could be made plain to shave tree. You have cams for it? No. No. You want a Well, I got a lot of cams. If you have cams with it, I could uh, uh, give the head to the guy. That you know, what guy? suffering from post freaking. Well, is it a whole engine in the car down the road? He could have for two hundred bucks. Ooh, good idea. But but this is a turbo head. This is not a non-turbo head. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, it does a little bit. But it's missing valves and stuff like that.
we are going to check the hydraulic lifters I suspect that the problem is not an hydraulic lifter but low oil pressure in the engine from the oil pan seals but let me take a tool and collapse these things and see if any of them act different than the others so we'll start here that one does not push down 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 not not a lot of pressure will let them absorb impact but if you find one that's really soft that's likely a bad one all these seem to have pretty strong pressure so far I got a few more to push I'm about 10 through you can see a little oil come out when I push on it it has a little weep hole on the side but all of these seem good they're nice and strong I suspect that we have a problem with oil pressure in that engine. Trying to get the uh, stud out. It's not happening. Cooling. Made it back to Jake's. I got the Japan fold here with new holes drilled in it. Right through the old screws. Couldn't get them out. I got the cylinder head here cleaned up. I'm getting ready to cut this as a straight edge. I went to Home Depot and bought this 2 inch 3 8 thickness flat bar and it does check out to be used as a straight edge so I'm gonna cut this thing right here try to cut it with this and have a straight edge and I'm gonna use that to check the block make sure the block is still true so let me go ahead and cut this and go from there I guess I need some earplugs and yes folks we use that brushless oscillating tool didn't do too bad on that one bit. One bit to cut this off. So now I got a good straight edge. Traveling straight edge. Whoop, whoop. I could check that block. Wasn't much to clean off of this block. Seems like this head, I believe, was off before for a burnt valve. So I got it cleaned up. There's no gasket material on it, and it's pretty clean and smooth I'm gonna put a straight edge on it now see how straight it is and go from there let me grab my edge I put the edge on there could not get a 0 .006 filler gauge in there so we are good to go that block is straight so let me get this exhaust metal fold off and get the new one on Got the exhaust manifold off. Look at that crack. What a beauty. Did the Japan fold about to go back in? Volvo with those numbers. And it says Japan there. The T5 one, or the low pressure turbo one, doesn't have any writing on it there. It might have Japan on the back. <laughs> nope, it doesn't have Japan on it anywhere. But the R manifold does and the Japanifold does. 
but the Japan fold has one, two, three, four runners in the upper. The T5 R manifold has all four or five runners going down. So anyway, we're gonna put this in. Got the Japan fold on. We are back from dinner. We need to shim this block, set the timing, get this radiator out of here, get these oil cooler lines out of here, and start putting things back together. So let's find the shims. Did he cut the shims? And the cast nut for the radiator busted. Now we're wrestling with that. Looking for a good pair of vice grips so we can keep it moving. We got the radiator hung, oil cooler lines blocked off, the Japan fold on. We're going to tap out. It's 12:10. Finish this up in the morning. We got a couple of parts to get in. I think we're going to drop the oil pan so that we can do oil pan gasket seals. We don't want this thing tapping no more. That's it. Got Jake's car ready for the replacement cylinder head. Man, putting that exhaust manifold on was uh, tougher than I thought, especially with the angle gear in the way. That car's all-wheel drive. Keep forgetting that. So we're going to pick up tomorrow, putting that cylinder head on, and hopefully we'll get that car running on the next day. So appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support. Thank you very much.